Well, that's just a beautiful view. If this were a real hole, I would probably pull out my cellular telephone and take a photograph. Gaming. Hey, all you Strat fans. Welcome to a special edition of Batty's Requests. You can see I am at the canyons at Dry Rock, which is a course that I happened upon through the user Buckeyes937 on Reddit. I will link to it in the description of this video. But we're going to try this out, and apparently it's a beautiful course. So here we go as we play it from the golds because Batty loves black and gold. And here we are at the opening tee. I've got my tequila. As this is Batty's off day from playing the Run Good Tour, which if you haven't seen any of those rounds before, you can check out the latest. I'll link to it right up here. Stretch out his thumbs. Or play a request course like this one. So we can see already, this is just a beautiful looking course with an incredibly narrow fairway to open up this drive. You but we hit that pretty pure and we'll see if we have a good shot from here. It definitely looks like a challenging approach. This is a par five, so I don't feel the need to go for it. And I think the risk reward is just not there. So I'm going to hit a nice little 8-iron into the fairway and try to attack it on the third shot. This is going to get there. There we go. So if we look at this green, there is quite the gully. So we're going to aim a bit right here. And there is some wind, but on a pitch shot, I don't anticipate it doing too much damage. It did move quite a bit more than I thought. And we're in the gully. Nice background to this hole. I don't know if this user has created all of these mountains, but if he did, well done. I think I put that way too far out left. That's a good start. And, uh... We are into the second hole. Very tiny landing spot there. I guess you could potentially go down lower, but I don't want to. Oh, I'm liking this one. With the bit of wind at the back, that worked out very nicely. Now, I don't know if that's Buckeye's house up at the top of this hill. If it is, well done. We've got some wind turbines over to the right. I don't know why they're facing each other. Doesn't that kind of counteract what's happening? I honestly don't know much about wind turbines. So maybe that's exactly what they're supposed to do. Quarter. Let's see but either way, goes. we're onto this big green with a birdie putt. And try and put a good putt on this thing. Break in there. Oh. That's, that's we take another par and Maybe move right. on. Another beautiful looking hole here. A nice landing spot in that fairway for a good drive. It's looking good here. And we put it there. We're playing the second shot in on this par four with a sand wedge. And I think this is an attackable hole. This one's looking dialed. It sure is. And now this should be a little tap in bird for us, That's a which I love. Because it's an easy excuse to have a sippy. Now we move to a par three. Very tricky. We have to go over this dead-looking tree. Poor guy. And that feels like a pretty good shot as it filters just behind the hole. There's a lot of work, I think, went into the landscaping of this course, which I appreciate. 
But I don't appreciate missing birdies. That was my fault. I will admit that. I was probably already thinking about sipping some tequila and didn't quite put thought into that chat. Now this is a hole that I love because it's risk reward. I could lay back with a five or four iron or I can go for it with this driver. I think you know what Batty's about to do. Cleared that bunker and went into the side one. But that's all right, because I think the way this is designed, he almost wants you to go for it. Because you're pretty protected with bunkers around. Um, no, this isn't good. But you also need to actually have a good bunker shot. I've now given myself a much worse shot than I just had. Oh, gosh. This is the distance I should have been for a birdie putt, not trying to save par. But I really screwed it up. What the? Ew. I gotta say, if this is your first time watching the Strat Man, you probably don't realize that he does that a lot. I left a pretty good spot, and then I found a way to poop it up. And now we try to bounce back by instantly jumping into this par five, which has a pretty good landing spot. Wow. Friend. And we cleared it. I should probably state that I'm using pro clubs for this round. So it's probably a good thing that I'm at the gold tees because I think if I played the tips, I would not have had the distance to clear that shot. But now we have the distance to go for this green in two. I just don't want to go long. So I'm going to use the three hybrid and this will probably end up a bit short, but that's okay. Whereas last time it encouraged you to go for it, but this time you really did not want to go long. Look at that nasty stuff. Now we're left with a little flop shot here to try and keep it close or send it far away. Either or, I should have been within a couple feet. Break in. Ooh. Obviously, I read a bit more break than there actually was. And we made the par. Well, that's just a beautiful view. And let's just take a moment to take in this view. Wind turbines. Again. A house far off in the distance. Is that the same house I saw before? Nice little mountains here and some cliffside area. If this were a real hole, I would probably pull out my cellular telephone and take a photograph. Oops, I hit a fast swing and this could be ugly. I don't know what I'm looking at. I think I'm okay. Let's just try and chip out of here and see what happens. Just past the hole. Whoa. That's the mistake that I made. And I have to live with it. And now this is to try and save a bogey. Just going left edge. And at least we saved the bogey out of that. So I went over par, which was really my fault there. This looks tricky, as I think we have to land here-ish. And a very long neck shot to that green. So we're going to try and hit this three hybrid up here. And just see what happens. Just made it up. Sweet. And now it's asking for a three wood, which I cannot make. We're going to have to play down to this next level. It's unfortunate that this is a par four. As it feels like a par five. And I honestly don't know how you would play it any differently than this. But let's try and hit this sand wedge down there. And we'll just see what kind of par pot we're left with. An okay one. At least he played this very kindly, where once you get on the green, there really is not a ton of break. 
So I do like the design of that, because it makes par possible. So a quick shout out, again, to Buckeyes937. I appreciate so far the thought that went into this course design. Where even the holes that look a bit tricky are actually manageable, depending on your approach. And what we have to try here, I think, is to stick with this 8-iron, but put some loft onto it. Because even though it's downhill, it's probably going to go a bit past the hole. Oh, hold on. Yikes. Definitely went too much. Looks like I'm on a weird little spot where it's going to start to move right. I don't really know how much. The delicate touch. Whoa! Left door. And through nine, we're sitting at one over. Not bad, considering I've never played this course before. I would like to try and be under par as we take this three wood and pound it down there. Not just for my confidence, but also because I want more tequila. And I don't want people to get the wrong impression here. The strap man never fights crime with a tipsy mentality. What we're gonna do here is take a three hybrid as it's a bit into the wind, but I think we can get down there and hop onto that green, which the left side starts to filter towards the hole. Let's see if we played the distance right. It's starting to hop. I could have gone a bit more left, I guess, even. But we ended up on the green. Good stuff. Now, this is a long birdie putt with a lot of break from right to left. I like to go even further than I think it will be, just in case. Oh, and that was a great line, but bad speed. Okay. With a bit more power, that would have been in. But again, that was a nice hole. This looks like a tee shot that is the first one I don't love. Then I just make look easy. Nice. As we take this five iron and try to let it hit that green and roll towards the hole. That's a spot I like quite a bit. Get rolling. And I played that perfectly. That was just a great club choice, a great line, and a solid execution. Yes. Right in the heart of the cup. And we're back on the birdie. I am so sorry if someone could hear that little slurp. If you are sensitive to sound, you must be cringing right now. Oh! All right. Sweet. Even though I think it's going to go long past the hole. Going to put a bunch of loft onto it. And hope that into the wind helps a bit. As the hybrid would not be enough to get there. That was a smart play. Guess I didn't need to go full loft on that three wood, but... I'm glad I did that rather than go long. So I think we'll be a bit conservative and play it on the left side of this hole. Started to slow down. Oh, it really just stayed mostly straight there. Should be a pretty easy tap in for the birdie. All right. Go ahead and drop this one into the fairway and take. In all honesty, I did not even realize that was a par five until. I was stepping up to that putt. So I ended up being quite a bit more aggressive than I needed to. But it really worked out. Just like that three wood off the tee. Say oh, that's a nice bridge. Let's look at that a little bit again. Ooh. And I think lofting up on this pitching wedge is going to be the play. Let that wind push it back towards the hole. And that was awesome. And we are just about to get drunk. Decent little putt there. That is three birds in a row. As we move on to a par four. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't think I can overstate the beauty of this course. This one. 
I applaud you, Buckeye. Every hole has been enjoyable. Each tests your shots and rewards good play. And really, what more do you want? Nice. It's a wonderful golf course. And if I can make this, this is four birds in a row. And I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I'm starting to not be able to feel my face. And I love it. This back nine is being very kind to the strat man. Looking these. I'm going to have to get a bit sneaky with this pitch shot. And try to hit it, if anything, just a bit short. Oh, gosh. Hit short. Oh, just a bit too short. The right play. But I just put a bit too much loft onto it. So now we're putting out of the fringe, way off to the left here. As it speeds towards the hole, when it gets closer. There it goes. Ooh, just missed it. I would say that's a very good par to make on that very oh, no. tricky green. Here? And as we fly through this course, there are only three holes that remain. And look at this green. Uh, see if this goes back towards the hole with the wind. Well, looks like you got some work cut out for you in this next one. Oopsie. Anyone who's new to this channel is really getting the Stratman experience. Great holes, followed by a complete slap in the face. But a possibly good bunker save. As we will take that par nice and there. run. That makes it three under on the round, four under on the back nine. And a tricky landing spot here with the driver. Oh, look at that. Is that an eagle? Oh, it's beautiful. I want to follow it. Oh, it's gone. Uh, that was such a nice flying bird. Oh, no. I definitely should have tried to draw that around. I don't know where I'm aiming. Let's just hit out and hope we're not hitting this tree head on. Oh, that sounded bad. <laughs> oh, if I was a roofer, I would have loved that sound. Or, or if I was a cartoon animal hitting somebody on the head with an acorn. But as a golfer, that's disgusting. And we just hacked that out of there. You do not want to miss the fairway on this hole. Now we're left trying to chip in for par. Oh, but considering the mess I made of that tee shot, I'll take the bogey. Well, I'm glad you... I kind of have my tail between my legs on that one. Going to slightly club down here with the three wood so that my second shot is a bit better distance. That's pretty good. Sweet. That's a nice gap wedge distance there. Oh, a bit of a slow follow through there. That's not ideal. Oops. So a long birdie putt to wrap this round up. Uh, let's guess here. Oh, nice try. But I gotta say, I'm smiling as I tap this par in, oh, nice way because that was fun. Solid and there we have it. Uh, you're looking at a two underscore, and I must say, it is one of the favorite courses that I have ever played. So, Buckeye937, congratulations to you, and thank you for letting me play your course. Hop onto Reddit, give him a shout out, let him know that all of this hard work really paid off and as for me if you haven't done so yet please smash that subscribe button check out any of my previous rounds and if you like what the strap man's offering come on back for some more because tomorrow i'm jumping back into my season with the run good tour see you around everybody and stay batty